Welcome to DIY Design by CCW, DIY Design for the 21st Century. My name is Candy and I'm the host of this channel. Now let's get into this video. Everyone, so we're just going to jump right into this DIY. So here you see that I am marking a space uh, where I'm going to place this beautiful uh, glam heart that I found at Joann Fabrics and then I'm going to use uh, some blue I had some leftover crushed glass from another project uh, so I'm going to use it and it's a beautiful icy blue uh, I'm also going to add a little bling wrap again I'm using things that I had left over from other projects I'm also after this going to do um, a little CB treatment uh, and dress up some uh, Dollar Tree bowls that I picked up obviously at Dollar Tree and I'm also using uh, some stems or bases for all three of the DIYs that are thrifted little crystal uh, candle holders I like to use those when I whenever I find them you know for bases you know for for whatever it is that I'm creating um, now guys, I'm using these colors of blue and silver because I'm participating in a collaboration. It is the Winter Icy Decor Collab 2021. Now, uh, some of you may know and some of you may not know that I'm a member of the group The Heaven's Pearls. And we're a group of like-minded Christian YouTubers. We come together once a month and we host a collaboration. Now, um, this month, we are doing the Winter Icy Decor Collab 2021. And again, the colors are white, blue, and silver. We can use all three or just one. We're also focused this month on self-control. Uh, for the last few months, every collab that we do, we've also highlighted one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit. And this month, we are praying for self-control um, and we're saying that if there's an area in your life where you need more self-control that is what we're that is what we're praying for right now um, now I will uh, put the scripture reference which is in Galatians where the fruit of the Holy Spirit uh, are explained and discussed I'll link that down in my description box along with the playlist and please go down and visit all the other ladies and uh, again all the participants again members of the heavens pearls are myself of course i'm diy designed by ccw there's the glam queen of diy there's uh and that's tammy there's erica of love is the main key sandra of levels of style with sandra there's Jazzy Green Decor Style, and that is Liz. There's Stacy of uh, Styling with Stacy. There's Debbie Bubbles, and of course, her name is Debbie, and uh, D of the Designers Loft. All right, guys, now I'll go ahead and um, tell you a little bit more about what I'm doing here. And then I'll just put on, you know, let the music play and I'll come back on as I need to, to tell you what I'm doing. So, um, as you can see, I placed uh, blue painter's tape uh, around the edges of my cylinder. And the reason I did that is I'm planning to come back and add a little bling wrap uh, at the bottom and a little bling wrap at the top so that I don't want any... Um, of the crushed glass to be there. Um, now I've already glued uh, my heart in place as you can see and um, I'll go just keep applying the crushed glass. Now I started with a Mod Podge uh, mixture. Uh, I'm using gloss Mod Podge and I mixed it with a little silver glitter and the reason I do that it just adds a little more shine you know. Um, does, it's not necessary to do that, but it does add a little more shine. Also, if you're doing crushed glass to get that maximum shine, you want to use the uh, the gloss Mod Podge, which is in the red, sort of reddish-orangish uh, container. Uh, 
Um, now I've moved on and, and as you can see I'm doing the base. Now this is a thrifted candle base um, that I'm going to use to uh, put under my little cylinder that I just decorated. Um, and for that, as you can see, I've used some Mod Podge and I'm also using uh, some of the leftover crushed glass to decorate the bottom of the vase. Then I'll set everything aside and um, then I'll, uh, once it's dry, I'll come back, go over the glass again with another coat of Mod Podge to seal it. And then I'll fill in at the same time any spaces, you know, where I may have had some fall. Um, all right, so now we're jumping right into the bowls. Uh, so I'm mixing another mixture of uh, the the uh, silver. Um, silver, I uh, couldn't think what I was going to say for a minute. The silver glitter and uh, the uh, Mod Podge. I'm still working with that gloss Mod Podge. And uh, I'm just going to work my way around the bowl. Now, what I've done is mix silver seed beads with diamond dots. If you follow the channel, you've seen me do this before. And the diamond dots are just the mini, uh, little miniature rhinestones. They're absolutely gorgeous, though. And by mixing them this way, oh, it just, the, the shine is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm actually just going to do one of the bowls on camera uh, that way the videos not as long as some of my videos are you know sometimes uh, I'll do that and I'll actually do the base uh, which I'm gonna just go around the bottom of the base and um, add a little more of the seed beads and then guys when I come after that uh, we'll be ready to do the reveal so this video is moving right along all right, everybody, I'm going to stop running my mouth and let you watch, and I'll be back. All right, everyone, I just wanted to jump on quickly and explain to you what I'm doing here. So when I do this treatment where I do um, glass and then I want to, I use the painter's tape, I always pull the tape off before the, the Mod Podge is completely dry. Uh, and the reason I do that is when I've done it the other way, sometimes I pull off a little bit of the glass or it, it just doesn't look right. The edge doesn't look right. Um, so I've learned that by pulling it off, if, I, if you do this and you pull the tape off before it's completely dry, it actually makes for a cleaner edge. And if there is an issue, you can easily fix it. Um, now what I'm going to do is I had some leftover fabric trim. And again, this is the rhinestone uh, fabric trim that I always buy from uh, Joanne Fabric. And I only had a piece, so I actually cut it in half so that I would have enough to go around the base. Um, now, I also had some uh, couple remnants of the 3.5 millimeter clothes chain wrap. Now, that comes from BB Craft, and I'll make sure to put a link uh, in the description box for that. And I'm going to use that for the top of the, um, of the cylinder. Now, once I'm done, and then I'll go, I go over the crushed glass again and fill in any spaces. 
uh, to make sure that it's all full and I seal, the, seal it, you know, with another layer of Mod Podge so that the glass stays in place. Um, I think that's going to be the end of this DIY, I believe. Um, I might come back and glue the base on um, one of the seed bowls, maybe. And then we'll be at the end and um, you'll see the big reveal. So, all right, guys, I'll be back. Right, everyone now this is how the DIYs turned out I like them I think I do so they this is the uh, close-up of the seed beet bowls there's a close-up of my unique cylinder and uh, now let's take a little closer look at everything now as always I'm showing you the DIYs with other DIYs that I've created that mirror on the bottom uh, is a mirror that I created in another DIY. Also, you're going to see uh, the little mini mirrors or pedestals that the uh, seed bead bowls are sitting on. Those are from another DIY. Also, that crystal base that you see is from another DIY. Now, the vase that is sitting on top of that that you're looking at now, I'm showing you that vase because that vase was created with the same crushed glass that I used uh, on the little square cylinder. Now, I really love the way these bowls turned out. I think they're so pretty. And if you can see, it really does uh, add a lot of shine when you mix the seed beads with the diamond dots. And then, of course, you underlay all of that with the gloss Mod Podge uh, with the silver glitter in that uh, mixed in that Mod Podge. The shine is just beautiful. Um, now, um, again, I love how everything turned out, but you let me know. I welcome all of your comments, like I say uh, all the time, be they good, bad, or indifferent. And guys, if you're not a member of the channel, I hope you'll subscribe today. Tap the bell at least a couple of times. I will definitely try to upload videos for you at least twice a week, usually DIYs, but occasionally I'll do home decor as well. Also, please visit the Ladies of the Heavens Pearls. Again, myself, DIY design by CCW. I have a, we have another DIYer, uh, and she's the glam queen of DIY. That's Tammy. We have Erica. Love is the main key. We have Levels of Style with Sandra. We have Jazzy Green uh, Decor Style. That's Liz. We have Styling with Stacy. That's Stacy, of course. Debbie Bubbles. And uh, a D of the Designer's Loft. I, I have links to all of their channels in the description box so that you can find them as well as the playlists. Also, don't forget that January, our fruit for this month, our fruit of the Holy Spirit is self-control. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. 
And you know what? Like I say at the end of every video, I can't wait to see you, each and every one of you, in the next video. All right, everyone. Have a wonderful day or a wonderful night. Bye-bye.